Oh, the clap. I have it. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I'm Renee with St. Louis Makeup Artist, and this is Amanda! <laughs> my mute model. <laughs> Today is Saturday. Saturday! 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 <laughs> Are you good? Saturday! <laughs> Saturday! This is look seven, day six of our Halloween tutorials. Hope you guys are enjoying it so far. Today we're doing something a little bit simple -er, and more for the ladies and drag queens. And we are doing mod or 60s look. Super fun, super easy. Things you'll need. First, you're gonna need some brushes, which I'll just explain as we go along. You'll need a sheer foundation, or if you don't have a sheer foundation, you can sheer your own by either adding primer or moisturizer to it to thin it out. Primer, which I always like to just prime people's skin. And then you're gonna need a couple things. You're gonna need a blue shimmery eyeshadow. I'll probably use Fade from MAC, which looks like this. Or if I change my mind and go a little darker, <laughs> <laughs> then I'll use fresh water, which still has a little bit of shimmered. Please do not use glitter. It's the herpes of makeup. Can't get it off with soap and water. You also need a black eyeshadow, which uh, we're just using carbon from MAC, or you can just use an eyeliner and like smudge it. You'll need a white eyeliner pencil, and then eyeliner either, you can use whatever. You can use gel or liquid or pencil, whatever is your preference. And then you're gonna need a peachy pink kind of color for the cheeks. They were very much into peaches instead of pink. I'm gonna use Tenderling. And then also a really nude lip, which I will probably use Honey Love. Naked. All from MAC. You have options for mascara, which I'll kind of go through um, as we go, but you will need mascara. And then just whatever you normally do to fill in eyebrows. First thing you wanna do is prime the skin, but because I'm gonna mix my primer into my foundation, I'm just gonna do it all in one. And you really wanna make sure it's a good sheer mix. I'm just mixing on my hand, like voila. A little drunk. Here we go. <laughs> Next, we're gonna do powder, just a little bit, um, because Amanda's really shiny. We'll just hit the main spots. Next, you're gonna do eyes, so you want to get your shimmery blue. And then I just have a um, shadow blender from um, Face Secrets. Any kind of just regular eyeshadow brush will do you just fine. What you're gonna do is just the lid, and maybe just a little bit over. You're not gonna go all the way up your eye or in your crease. Um, but it's just gonna kind of be one color that's just on the lid. Beautiful, isn't she folks? And next you're gonna take your black shadow or you can use an eyeliner. If you're doing a black shadow, um, wet your brush first so it kind of makes it a little bit more of kind of a liquidy and not so much of a powder. So if you're looking at yourself or your model. Amanda, that um, where her her eyelid actually goes up into her eye, and just above that is where you want to draw a line. If you go too high or too low, that's fine. You can always just take a wet wipe or a paper towel with water and just kind of smooth out the edge. Um, I went a little bit too high on a part of it and it's a little thick and I'm Professional, or professional, I'm anal. So. <laughs> She's booty. So. <laughs> so, um, I'm just gonna go back and just fix it really quick. Okay, and you do want a little bit of shimmer for your upper eye, just below your um, eyebrow, but just a little bit will do. Here we go. Okay, so next we're gonna move on to eyeliner, liquid liner, pencil, um, gel, whatever. And we're just gonna do a really simple line, not very thick, to just cover our typical upper lash line. On to brows! Okay, so brows, they didn't do very heavy like we do nowadays where we just fill in everything and make it bigger and everything. 
Um, it was mainly just to kind of fill and then to kind of have a sharp edge more at the bottom. Um, not a sharp edge, but a very defined edge. So that's what we're gonna do. It's not water. I know. <laughs> you can smell it on your breath. <laughs> Next we're going to do cheeks. Uh, so get your peachy color out and um, they mainly kind of just did it right around the side and not so much in the front of the face, no apples or anything like that. We're going to do lips. Uh, you want to get your nude color out, and we're going to just Naked. apply it. <laughs> like we do with regular lipstick. And lastly, we're going to do um, the lashes. Like I said, there's a couple different ways to do it. I'm going to show you both because it's really not going to affect anything if I do. The first way is if you just use mascara. The second way will be if we use false lashes and then a little bit of trickery of the eye. Okay, so when you do your mascara, you want it um, on the top and the bottom like normal, how you go like this. I'll just show it on you. Like how we do this. Um, but we also are going to then go back with more mascara. And instead of going down and separating them, we're gonna go across like this and it's actually gonna clump them together into like little individual pointies. Same thing with the top, we'll do the same thing and you should get a desired effect from there. If that's not enough for you, then move on to the next step, which we're going to do too. So if you tried the mascara one and you're not liking the results, go ahead and do this next one. It's a little bit easier and a um, little bit creative. Now you can use gel pencil or cream. I'm just gonna use, or liquid. Um, I'm just gonna use a liquid quick little liner just to make it real easy. But if you look at like models like Twiggy, she used to draw in her bottom lashes to make them more pronounced. So we're <laughs> gonna do that with Amanda. <laughs> when you're going down on the lashes, you want your outer ones to be longer and like sweeping away. So it's gonna look like this, like that. And then when you get closer in, you want them to be shorter. So see now she has a lot of bottom lashes. Now the trick for the top lashes is of course, You want to get ones that are like this where they're distinct points. Um, if you guys don't know how to put um, falsies on, go ahead and look back at our other tutorials. Amanda has a really great one on how to. I'm just going to put these on and then show you that end result. Whoa! We're done! Whoa! Here we go. We have the 60s look, which um, as people have just informed us, could be Mad Men, it could be Daphne, <laughs> or it could be um, anything you can think of from the 60s. So all Amanda did was um, we put her hair up, kind of a boof, aunt, and then flip out the sides. And then you just put like a boat neck shirt on or whatever fancy dress that you have that is paisley or whatever. And there you go. There's your 60s look. Join us tomorrow for our very last tutorial, <laughs> which Amanda will be doing. And she's fabulous. All right, guys, so we'll see you next time.